All right, this is my updated guide for the super guy config. Make sure to watch through the whole video before you leave a comment on like what your problem is. I'm telling you this probably like in another comment already on it, or it's probably in the video. Uh, I'm going to break it down more and actually go like a little bit more in depth. We're going to be using the, this jump. So the scroll wheel down, if you jump on scroll wheel up, you can just switch it in the config file link in the description. It's going to bring you to this link. You're going to need WinRAR to open up this folder. It's a dot RAR. If it comes up as a white page, you need to download WinRAR. Just, you know, click the boot button two times instructions on screen. You know what I'm saying? Once you open this file, you're going to have four files right here. We're going to drag these files to the game folder. Find wherever your game folder is probably on a C drive program files, Steam, Steam apps, Common, and then Apex Legends. And then inside the CFG folder, drag these in here. If you already have an auto exec file, all right, to open the file, you know, maybe it says nothing. You need to open it with notepad. You just need to add this command inside your auto exec. This right here is for the 110 up will be. If you don't want it, you can delete it. It doesn't really matter. So in Super Glide 1, this first button is going to be the button that you initiate that changes your mouse wheel down from regular jump into the Super Glide jump. So every time you want to go for a Super Glide, you're going to need to press this button. I like to use C. You can use whatever. Let's click File Save. If you want to change this to M wheel up, you need to change it in this file. You need to go in this file, change it as well. Go in this file, change it as well. In the last file, you can change the FPS max. I recommend around like 20 frames above your refresh rate. So if you have a 144 hertz monitor, just change this number to like 165. Uh, I like to put it to 240 or 300 because I like to record in high FPS, but it might cause problems on your own PC. So, you know, beware. After you set up the files, you wanna go to your launcher. A lot of people were asking me how to do it on EA client or origin client. It's the same command. I mean, and I, I don't have the origin app, but I have the EA app because I play FIFA, you know what I'm saying? And the EA app, it would just be here, go view properties and it has advanced launch options. Inside the origin app, you can literally just right click it, click view properties. It'll say something along the lines of properties. And then you can, you know, input the line. It's the same exact line plus exec auto exec you do not need to put the dot cfg do not put the dot cfg do not put the dot cfg and um you can't have two of these so if i have like plus exec some random shit, this exec won't work you can only have one execute in your launch options so after that you can load up your game i just want to say that the super glide cfg is not bannable it's disallowed in competitive tournaments. So like if you're trying to compete LGS, if you're trying to go pro, obviously you don't want to be using this. It's literally unbannable. Like there's no like, you know, it's not a cheat. It's nothing like that. The, you know, the developers know that this is a thing. They wish you just, you know, can't really remove it since, you know, there's a lot of other things that in my opinion should be removed. You know what I'm saying? Steam controller config and just like removing CFG commands. The reason why it hasn't been like patched, I guess you could say, because I guess some people think it's a glitch is because it's not really a glitch. It's just how the game engine works, how like the, the movement tech works. Since it's a one frame and uh, the lower frames you have, the easier it is. You can bind things inside CFG files. Everything you have binded already is inside a CFG file. You just, uh, don't know it's literally in that same exact you know folder but uh to go over how this works when when you click this button it changes your scroll wheel command so usually when i scroll wheel it's just regular jump no frame difference you see hard 240 when i press c and i scroll just once my game starts running in 30 frames the next scroll will then put it back to normal 240 the whole essence is just trying to time that scroll wheel at the time of where you would hit the jump. And since it turns down your frames, the moment you're going for it, the, the window for the actual super jump is bigger. 
and then you hit the super jump and then it returns the FPS back to normal. You still have to time it. It's not like auto, it's not like brain dead, but the timing is a lot easier now. To remove it, all you need to do is just bind it in game and delete the files and you should be good. If your game gets stuck at 30 frames, you wanna right click Apex, go to properties, and then you just wanna do plus FPS underscore max 144 or whatever max frame you want. That's the video. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, consider subscribing. Peace.